Yo, what's up everyone? It's Pyro here, back with another video. In this one, we are going to be going ahead and polymodeling ourselves this uh, body sculpt right here. I was basically just going through my old files, came across this. I had no clue how I made it, so I'm about to give this another shot. I honestly do not know what I'm going to be doing. Um, but we can go ahead and uh, give this a shot. So I'm just going to put this on the side. And we can start working. Uh, where the hell is... Alright, so we're going to start with the basic Roblox R6. And you guys could get kind of creative with it if I pulled that back up actually. Oh, uh, what the hell? There we go. Now, this is really low poly, but you guys could just drop it in a game like that. Honestly, if you get this, this is the style you guys want to go for. You guys could even hand paint over this or even sculpt it. I think that's what I did. This is the result I basically got. I'm pretty sure I just did some simple hand painting over it. Um, but it's really simple and just looks pretty decently fine in game. So, we're just going to go ahead and get right into that. I'm going to put in the R6 parts. And I do not like using the Roblox R6 because it's just like the mesh completely broken now uh, we're gonna bring, bring in our own cube and scale that up let's basically make it fit on like perfectly around the r6 just gonna hide the arms if you guys do not have the r6 rig just export it yourselves from Roblox. that's fine this is not fine something like that all right, now once you have it scaled around the R6, let's press Control A, scale. And then we're gonna go into uh, edit mode, select everything, Control B bevel. And that should let you have the exact shape. Something like that, just around the R6, that's perfectly fine. Now we can hide the R6 rig. That's all we needed. Actually, no, we still need it. But one more thing. Um, so with that rig, we just, with that, we just uh, made we're gonna press ctrl 1 what that basically does it drops the subdivision go back into edit mode now we're gonna select everything shift yeah actually, I should have probably turned on my uh, e display or whatever it was called the add-on but you guys should be able to follow along shift e what that does is that just kind of sharpens your edges can't see what it's doing right now because I have this big block in the way but if you guys look at this shift e Shade auto smooth, and I'm just gonna undo that because I don't like how that turned out. I'm gonna pop this thing up. View, you press N, view, and the, I, I mean, uh, to oh no, I don't. Yeah, so what this basically does is you mean crease. Now you have really sharp edges, and if you bring this down, it just controls how it just controls the uh, effect of the edges. We're gonna bring that down a bit more. I think that's fine. Shade auto smooth. Oh god. Um uh, gonna cut down the middle and then add a uh, subdivision. I mean not subdivision, a mirror on the other side. You guys can go ahead and manually add that. Put the mirror above subdivision. And then we start working with the uh abs and all that. So we're gonna go ahead and add one over here, a root cut. And we got like uh two more for the abs. This is three pack, right? Yeah, I think I had a four pack on the other one. We'll, we'll make this one three pack. You guys want to go add four i guess go ahead now add one more cut right down here and that's basically all you need now we're going to select these faces hit i and set faces turn off boundaries of these sides uh, actually wait, never mind don't do that not turn on boundary you need them to actually be separate all bad like that and then we're gonna bring it up on the x or y on for you depending on what axis you're working on uh shift you know, on these you guys can see you can just really easily see what this is doing it's just sharpening the edges i'm gonna bring this down a bit so we have a little bit of a curve uh i'm gonna bring the faces a bit out Uh, I'm gonna leave that as is. I'm gonna mark these sharp. Or not. I'm just basically experimenting, guys. I can I have no clue what I'm doing. I haven't done this in so long. Well, actually, I remember having this in 60. 
pi number. And how you guys want to shape this is getting completely up to you guys. It doesn't have to be perfect like how I'm doing it. If you guys have a reference for a specific character, the muscles might be uh, deformed in a specific way. I'm just going to leave this at that. Actually, I'm going to open this up a bit. I'm going to bring this up. I'm just gonna bring this in a bit right here, but it's in here. I think this hold it down just because this is looking a bit too wild. I'm gonna bring this edge a little bit in. This face back, something along those lines. Another thing I had done was uh, there's a little bit of skin. I'm gonna move these in on the Y a bit. So I don't know why. I want to make it like too slim because then that becomes female torso. Stuff like that is just fine. I think that's pretty fine, honestly. We go into the abs now. I'm just gonna extrude these out. What I'm basically gonna do is first off, just shift E, make this. Uh, oh wait, sharpen that. Take these edges, sharpen that. Clean this up a bit. So rough. I'm gonna remove. Or just clean that off. Extrude it out. Well, that was a bit too much. We're gonna remove everything. And it's like attached to the part next to it, so it's gonna turn off the green, turn off mirror. I bring on the Y. Build these faces. It just might have not happened for you because if you did not use hard ops, then uh, it doesn't automatically apply merge and clipping for you. Out as well. The pin should be off, so that automatically not give us any issues. I just did shift E that, but it's creating these like really sharp edges. I'm just gonna do a little bit. one the shade auto smooth I don't know why it's like there we go uh now one thing is we do have to like rotate just a bit rotate on the Y this one's gonna be uh, facing upwards
stealing them in a bit. My previous attempt was a lot better than this, but it ain't the worst. Why is this happening? I'm gonna pull up my other torso, I don't know what. Yeah, that's basically the same thing. Just one, this one just had four abs. So I, have, I was able to make uh, X a bit bigger. You could bring that up a bit, just make that look smaller, smoother. That's basically it. If you guys want to go ahead and do back muscles, I don't even remember what I did for this. Traps is like basically something like this, but I don't think it's even worth trying to extrude anything from the back. If you just want to go ahead and do it, you are more than free to do so. Those of you who want to go ahead and add more muscle details, like adding like stuff down here and stuff, it's honestly not worth polymodeling. I recommend just taking this into like sculpting, unless you guys want something like that. I don't know what that what muscle that is, but um, I wouldn't do any more muscles on top of this. This is just a basic shape you guys just sculpt over. I'm gonna try like looking a bit too circular. Yeah, that's basically it guys you guys could just use this method to literally create any other type of uh i don't know what shape you guys would want to make on a cube but this is the basic subdivision workflow there is another one where you just basically all you model from scratch on a single plane instead of working with a cube just extruding stuff out but for this this is basically what best you're going to be able to get from this uh And I think I'm gonna end it there. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I mean, if you guys want more tutorials, I don't even know what to make. I'm just really bored. Sometimes I do not feel like recording commissions. Um, but hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.